Hi everyone, The Simple Dad here. So your S25 Ultra is packed with insane features you probably haven't discovered yet. So imagine raining app icons, animated lock screen, auto music launch, and more. And no, you don't need to root your phone. So stick around and I'll show you seven must try tricks that make your S25 Ultra feel like a brand new phone. So what's up tech lovers? I'm The Simple Dad, and today we're unlocking the full power of your Samsung S25 Ultra with some seriously cool customization that go beyond the default settings. So if you love making your phone uniquely yours, you're in the right place. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below with your favorite feature or any hidden tricks you found. All right, let's dive in. So feature number one is your raining app icon notification. So your app icon shows a cool raindrop animation whenever you receive a notification. So this basically adds motion and life to your home screen in a way you've never seen before. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, you'll need an app called Galaxy Store. Go ahead and open that. In the Galaxy Store, you want to go ahead and search for the following app called Good Lock. Go ahead and download this. Now go ahead and open it. In the Good Lock app, you want to go ahead and scroll down and find Edge Lighting. And now you want to go ahead and turn this feature on tap on set custom style, go ahead and turn this feature on. And here you want to go ahead and show app icon instead of custom style image. So whatever notification you get from, say for example, WhatsApp, or maybe YouTube, or let's say maybe the message app, those icons will start raining. If you tap on set custom style, you can go ahead and choose what type of animation you want. So you can go ahead and choose all these. You can choose the colors and you can also choose an effect. Once that's done, press home. And then you want to go ahead and test it out. So I'll send a message from another phone. And as you can see, you, you have a raindrop animation here. So it turns your boring notification into stunning visual cue. So even if the sound is off, you'll never miss a message. Plus it's just so super cool. Feature number two is your custom ringtone setup. So on your Samsung S24 Ultra, you can basically set a completely unique ringtone for your phone not the same tired stock tones everyone else uses. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first go into our settings. We'll scroll down and find sound and vibration. And here we'll go ahead and tap on ringtone. Now from here, you want to go ahead and scroll down. And here, you can, as you can see, these are all your stock ringtones. However, at the top, you can go ahead and add the custom ones. If you want to add a custom one here, you can go ahead and tap on the plus sign, tap on allow, and now this will basically look through your phone and see if there is any audio available. You can go ahead and download it from the internet. So here, as an example, I've already downloaded something. So let's just say this one here. You can go ahead and tap on done. And once you've selected it, you have now set a custom ringtone for yourself. So you'll never wonder if it's your phone ringing in a crowd again. Plus it's a fun way to express your style or your favorite music. Feature number three is where you can change your task changer layout. So on your Samsung S24 Ultra, you can completely redesign the way your recent apps appear on the carousel view. So as you can see right now, I've set it to grid. However, you can go ahead and set it to stack or even cube effect. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you're going ahead and opening up the Home Up module, which is right here. Now from here, you go ahead and tap on task changer. And here you can go ahead and choose from all these available task changers. Your tilt stack is your default one, but however, you can go ahead and choose the grid layout, which is right here. You can have vertical ones, or you can have the slim list. Now, just underneath, if you're using the vertical list, you can go ahead and choose a circular list. So say, for example, if you have a lot of apps open up, and when you look at your app switcher, you'll see that it's going in a more of a circle, circular format. So once you're happy with that, tap home, and now you can go ahead and have fun with your new app switcher. So multitasking becomes smoother and looks way better. You'll switch between apps faster and your UI will stand out from the crowd. Feature number four is where you can add your lock screen animation. On your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can basically bring your lock screen to life with animated effects like this whenever you wake or you unlock your phone. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you're going ahead and opening the Wonderland module. From here, 
tap on create your different lock screen. Now from here, you want to go ahead and choose your wallpaper. So here I'll go ahead and choose it from my phone library. Now I'll go ahead and choose the effect I want. So I have different effects here. I can choose a CRT effect. I can choose a pixelate effect, ripple, spear, warp, edge, blur, hexagon, slice, flip, slide, or the fluid effect. So I like the hexagon effect. I'll choose that. I press close. I can go ahead and configure this. So I want it fast or slow. I can have the depth and I can go ahead and choose the rounded edges. Now I'll go ahead and just test it out. So when the screen is on and when the screen is off. So once I'm happy, I'll go ahead and tap on save, save this. And I'll go ahead and tap the set as wallpaper. So I want to set this as my lock screen wallpaper. Now I'll go press home. Now when I go ahead, unlock this phone, you'll see that effect show up on screen. So this makes every unlock moment satisfying. It adds a premium futuristic vibe. Plus it's a fun way to show off your setup. Feature number five is where you can auto launch music on a Bluetooth connect. So any Samsung S24 Ultra, you can automatically open your favorite music app the moment your Bluetooth headphones or car connects. So no need to tap any buttons. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, you'll need to open up the modes and routine app. So search for modes and routine. So this is the app you need. Tap on the plus sign. And here we'll go ahead and create an if and a then statement. So here we'll go ahead and tap on Bluetooth device, and then we'll go ahead and tap on connected. And then we'll go ahead and choose our device. So our device is the Simples Bud 3. Select that. So when your Simple Buds 3 is connected, then we want your Samsung S24 Ultra to open an app. So go ahead and find for apps. Here we want to go ahead and open an app. So we'll go ahead and find a music app. So this can be anything, Spotify, YouTube music, your Samsung music player. So we wanted to open Spotify and then we'll go ahead and tap done. Now we press save, we're going to tap done. And now let's go ahead and test it out. So we'll go ahead and switch off Bluetooth. Now we'll go ahead and connect Bluetooth back. We'll go ahead and connect to our simple buds three. And now once it's connected, it should open up your Spotify app. As you can see, Spotify app has opened up now. So it's perfect for workouts, commutes, or any moment you just want music immediately. No delays, no distraction, just open up your buds, connect to your phone, and your Spotify should open up. Feature number six is where you can customize your buttons on your navigation bar. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can basically change these buttons at the bottom to any custom photo or picture you have. So let me show you how to do this. So first we'll go ahead and open up Google and here we'll go ahead and find custom pictures. So let's just say we want to find the back icon. So go ahead and find all these, the back arrows, the home button and so on. I already have downloaded them. So this is my task changer, my home button, and this is my back button. Now, once that is done, you want to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you're going ahead and opening up the Navstar module. Switch this on and then go ahead and tap on New Configuration. Now tap on these buttons here at the bottom. So Recent. Let's go ahead and change this to the one that we have downloaded, which is this one here. Say No. Now Home. Go ahead and find another one. No. And then back, go ahead and find the one that you downloaded and no. And now press save. Now go ahead and scroll down and find the one that you created. So this is the one I created. Now when you go ahead and press home, you'll see custom navigation buttons on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So as you can see, this basically customizes your phone, gives your phone a unique touch as you have custom photos on your Samsung S25 Ultra navigation bar. And lastly, feature number seven is your depth effect wallpaper. A depth effect wallpaper is a layered 3D wallpaper where when you move your phone around, the objects on the wallpaper moves around. So let me show you how to create this depth effect wallpaper. 
like the iOS style spatial effect. So to do this, first you need to go ahead and choose what wallpaper you're gonna do it on. So for example, this one here. Now for this, I'll go ahead and work on this wallpaper first. So first we need to go ahead and create only the plane. And then another picture we need to create is the land itself. So first we'll go ahead and use Galaxy AI and we'll go ahead and remove this plane. We'll delete it. Now it'll tap and generate. And now it has been removed. Let's save a copy of that. Now next, we'll go ahead and only get this plane. So go ahead and select it. Go ahead and tap on the three dots, save it as an image. So now we have an image of that plane itself and the runway. Now we'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, we'll open up the Wonderland module. We'll go ahead and tap on create your own moving wallpaper, create new, go ahead and tap on gallery. Let's go ahead and choose that runway photo. Next, we'll go ahead and add our plane picture. Now we'll go ahead and tap on image settings and we'll apply individual motion. And let's just go ahead and preview it. So as you can see, when we move the phone left and right, it basically moves left and right. Let's go ahead and tap on motion effects and you can go ahead and play around with this X and Y movement and go ahead and see what, what happens with it. So now once you're happy with this, go ahead and tap on download, save it. Now we'll go ahead and set this as our wallpaper. Here we can go ahead and set this as our lock screen and home screen wallpaper. So let's go ahead and do for both. Now press home. So now the wallpaper has been set. So now let's go ahead and lock the phone. And as you can see, you have a depth effect wallpaper as the plane is basically floating in midair. So this gives your lock screen a professional, animated, and super modern look. Best of all, you can create it from any photo you love. And there you have it, seven powerful ways to unlock the true potential of your S25 Ultra. So whether you want better visuals, faster control, or just your phone to reflect you, these features have you covered. So if this helped you out, drop a like, smash that subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section down below which one you're setting up first. Or if you got a secret trick I should cover in the next video, let me know. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.